Well, welcome back, everybody. An independent report has found Utah police made several mistakes during the encounter with Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie. The report centers on a traffic stop on August 12th where the couple admitted to having a fight. Officers did not press charges and they allowed the couple to leave after require them, requiring them to spend the night apart. The investigators say that the officers misclassified the situation and they failed to include specific details about them. Petito's body was found weeks later, miles away from the site of that police stop. In Wisconsin, prosecutors have added dozens of charges against a man accused of driving his SUV through a Christmas parade last year. Darnell Brooks Jr. was previously charged with six homicide counts. On Wednesday, prosecutors added 71 additional charges against him. New court documents allege that Brooks ran over people at that parade in Wisconsin after he knocked them down and carried others on the hood of his vehicle. More than 60 people were also injured in that incident. The pandemic has caused serious shortages of blood donations all across the United States. And for the first time ever, the American Red Cross is declaring its first ever national blood crisis. So the need is serious. The Red Cross says that it has less than a one day supply of the most needed blood types. COVID has led to a 10% decline in the number of people donating and a 62% drop in donations from schools and colleges. The group is restricting the amount Amount of blood now even going to hospitals and it's making a desperate plea to you for donations. It's one of those situations where we don't know where the need is going to be, but we have to do everything we can to make sure that the blood is there when it's needed. Absolutely. All types of blood are needed as well, especially type O, which is the universal blood type. So please don't.